Thank you. George Lamar. Love it. Ming. That brought me back to the Wildwood days, the uh, yeah, wild forget wood. about it, and uh, the Jersey Shore, but we've got the man right here, George yeah. Lamont. What's How up, you doing, Johnny? buddy? How you doing, man? Hello, hey, darling. Hey, George. <laughs> yeah, Latinos got to do it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for coming on. It's a lot of fun, man. It, I got to be honest yet. with you. I'm a little rusty. I haven't uh, done this stuff for a while, man. Uh -huh. but you sounded great. Good, it's, a, it's a lot of you fun. You sounded great or what, guys? Go ahead. They were nice, they were nice. It's freezing in here and they hung around. I really appreciate it. it was we really, warmed really nice. up because we were all dancing. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. Good sound. It's all good. Now listen, George, you were born in Georgetown, Washington. I was born in DC, yep. Yeah, DC. You, you moved with your family to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Came back to the Bronx, New York. Didn't know any English. Yeah. yeah. Boogie down, boogie down, baby. Now, why don't you tell everybody who don't know and all the younger generation, give us a little background here. All right. Your history. Yeah, I, I'm all over the place. Uh, so, um, my, my, my name is George Garcia. I was raised George Garcia Catholic in, in the Bronx. I went to Catholic school. And then uh, uh, my mom used to take me, um, am I talking to you or the audience? I don't know. Both. I, yeah. um, and, uh, you know, we weren't, we didn't have that much money. So my mom used to ship us out to the family in the uh -huh. island in, 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 in Puerto Rico. So I used to tend to the pigs, the farms. I grew up on really? a farm. Yeah, I'm a farm boy. And um, um, then I would come back after summer was over, go back to school. I didn't know any English. And, I remember trying to spell, uh, I forgot, I, I think she wanted me to spell the uh, birthday, Sister Teresa. And um, I couldn't spell it right, and she, Wah! and uh, I remember, uh, that was back in the days when you could do that back yeah, in the day. Yeah, my yeah. <laughs> so, friend, And uh, I started doing music, I started, uh, I draw, and uh, I went to a high school of art and design in, uh, in Manhattan. And I got into singing and when rap started back in the, in the mid 80s, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. mid 80s after Sugar Hill Gang. And um, I started, uh, you know, I couldn't rap, so I started doing, uh, I fell in love with disco. My, uh -huh. my brother, he was like the Puerto Rican Danitario. He was always, you know, with the Playboy shirt and everything. And I grew up literally listening to Paco on 92 KTU. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Freestyle is the sister of, or the brother of disco. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we, I just started demoing songs and uh, uh, I got jo lucky. I got lucky. Joey. Right? Joey, Joey, Joey Kid, Joey, Joey Kid. Kid. That's it. I remember. Joey I was Kid. Just, yeah, yeah. We always have a crazy one in the gang. Yeah. Joey Kid was the one. Yeah, he was. Uh, and then he started singing, and he brought me into a couple of studio sessions, and I demoed "Battle of the Heart," and believe it or not, that was the first song that got signed. Now, in eight night, well, you think it was all messed up here. Uh, Without not. you it was eight eighty nine, but the album was released in ninety, but. You said the song came out in 89. Why don't you tell Battle me about the Heart that? was, what well, you do is in the record company, you, what you want to do is you don't care who signs your record, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, an independent label picked up Battle of the Heart, right? I used to graffiti, don't tell the cop that. I used to graffiti <laughs> back in the days, it should be loose. So it was under Loose Touch, an alias, Loose Touch, Battle of the Heart. Uh -huh. But nobody knew who Loose Touch was. They are like, you know, you're going to have to change your name. So then I got signed to CBS. Yes. And I released without you because they thought without you was more international, right? So and it did okay. So uh, didn't work. The suits messed up, and then we were like, why don't we just re-release Battle of the Heart under George Lamont this time? And they re-released so it, and, and, and it went top twenty in the Billboard pop charts. Wow. Because about three different bios on on, on the internet. With oh, they're all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Place. So, <laughs> just go know, to Wikipedia. You get it. Pulling right up there. all my old friends, like, <laughs> yeah. well, I, okay, ask a couple of club owners, like, this and that, and, you know, but. 20 years ago, yeah, went by yeah. so fast. It did. We it don't even did. want to say it it's 20 did. years. I remember the day that my teacher, uh, Miss Hillary, told me, uh, time is going to go by so fast you're not even going to realize it. Man, she wasn't kidding. That's she unbelievable, wasn't, like, does. you know? But we look good. Uh, we, we, we age I mean, good, I get as Brittany, but we look, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the old, the old freestyle days, I mean, they were big. Yeah. I mean, and since you were around in that time, you were, you were there. Who started it? Was I mean, was there like a certain group, or did it just? Come yeah, out the, from the, the streets? believe it or not, believe it or not, the fir I think the first record was Taylor Dane. Uh huh. Yeah. Taylor Dane. Taylor Dane was one of and Jody Watley. Jody uh -huh. Watley. The only thing is, she was African American, mm -hmm. and for some strange reason, uh, it, it, uh, 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 Latin hip hop or freestyle generated or gravitated more to the. His, to the Latinos and the Italians, you know? It was just, it was Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, oh, that's, It was just us, you know? I know that, so, that yeah. the best. So, um, and it was the same thing with Hustle. It was same, you know, same family. So, um, I would say Jody Watley and uh, tell it to my, um, 
Taylor Day. <laughs> Taylor Day. Yeah. Sorry, I'm 46 years old. I'm losing a little bit. Um, yeah, they started, and then um, TKA came out. TKA was great too. You know, they came out One Way Love. Yeah. And then Lisa Lisa and the Cold Jam. She took it commercial. Lisa Lisa and the Cold Jam when they did head to toe and all that stuff. You know, they did that thing, and then George Lamont came out, and then you have to do his thing, you know. Now, did you do <laughs> Panache and, like, uh, Yeah, Corvattis? I did, pa I did all of said, them. Yeah, because... I have, I have a funny, um, you said, uh, what was the, when we were off, uh, you said, uh, what was that club? That you, Wildwood. Wildwood, that's the greatest. Yeah, what, what, my, like, Corvattis my, or Cheers, which one? I did both of them. Okay, they were I did, awesome, I, I did, awesome yeah, clubs. Yeah. And I even did them when they turned into another club, so... Yeah, People yeah, yeah, wouldn't even know what yeah. those, those were I have great. A funny, I have a funny uh, Corvattis story. I remember I was, uh, I, I tried Long Island iced tea for the first time. It was a real popular drink, and they did, what, like, seven liquors in there, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember leaving that day, and I usually leave with the limo, but I was like, I ah, just go, I got my friends, I got so trash, I found a bush, I don't remember, and I was sleeping, I slept behind that bush the next day, I remember it was all warm, <laughs> sun hit me, I slept the whole night in near Corvallis behind the bush. Yeah. No one ever that I stopped drinking iced tea that day. They took it down. We were just in Wildwood, and it, 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 it used to be a, a, a church, yes. and it turned yeah. into a disco, and it was a small place, but it was when it was packed, People was just like on top of everybody, but everybody was calm. No one got out of control. They just waited for the act to come no, man. on. Freestyle and music was all, about, it was all about love, man. There That's was what never, it was. I mean, you got a couple of drunkards, but then again, yeah, but, but whatever. But it was all it about was good vibe. Time. Good vibe. Good vibe. Sounds like fun. It was fun. <laughs> I, I wasn't. It. I wasn't around for that. That's unfortunately. okay. That's why YouTube is young. there for you. Just YouTube. And yeah, I'm like kind of <laughs> lost. All these names you guys are dropping. It's I don't really good. know what you're talking you're about. You're dropping the dime. <laughs> well, I was born in '91, which is when you said. Um, yeah, yeah. That was when. That was basically when. Where does that leave love and all those other yeah, songs came out? So. Yeah. So. Yeah. But um. But yeah, and then you went on to release some salsa albums. Yeah, that's a, that's that's where when I when I when when freestyle started uh, radio went hip hop format a pop format. Um, Mark Anthony, who's a really good friend of mine, Jennifer Lopez is a really good friend of mine. Um, I remember um, we we spoke, and he had a, he took off. He, took he was off, doing freestyle. Right. He was doing Mark Anthony was doing freestyle. It just never did anything. And then he did the Spanish album. He's like, George, you gotta hear this record I did. And I'm like, you salsa, you gotta live that music. It's like country. You can't just yeah. do country. No, no. You gotta live country, you know. And uh, he did very well. He crossed over, and uh, he made salsa. <clears throat> he took it just more international, and uh, and then I did a, I did an album, and the first record went gold. Mm -hmm. It That's went gold. Beautiful. Sold, Great. Sold, That's yeah. awesome, yeah. Man. Yeah. And sometimes you got to do that, you know. Yeah. Hey, you know what? If I spoke Japanese, I do a Japanese album too. You know, it's just <laughs> it's just I love to sing. I love the arts. I've always been a, a big advocate of theater. Yeah. Of 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 even comic. You know, it's really really tough and art. You know, just mm -hmm. all that stuff. Man. I mean, with music, do you just, I mean, what are the st styles and genres of music do you like? You like rock, like 50s, you like I everything? I like everything. Okay. I, I, I can go from Tony Bennett to Allman uh, 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 Brothers, mm -hmm. uh, to, to Pink Floyd, okay, to, you cool. know, just, just whatever it is. You know, I'm, I'm a huge, huge, I love Eagles. I'm an Eagles fan. Yeah, I love big, Don big. Henley. Yeah. Don Henley, you know, I love those guys. I can't sing like that. That's why. <laughs> there's, there's always right. the stuff that you can't do, you know? No, they're great. Now listen, from from me, I was in the music business for a long, long time. Yeah, I was involved, right? yes, and I was involved with an independent record label from 20 years ago to today. It was a major change. Oh yeah. What do you think about the, how the how the business? They gave it to the, you. They gave it to you in a spoon, bro. They gave everything to you in a spoon. There was literally someone who wrote the song for you, someone who styled you, someone who marketed you, someone who uh, took care of the video budget. Yeah. It was just everything was there, and then they. You know, then uh, Napster came out. He got pissed off, pissed him off, and, uh, oh, and, uh, and, and he destroyed the record company uh, the, record business. The only thing I liked better now than that back in the day, if we had it back then, like the YouTube, the, uh, all yes. the, the internet access, yes. the, the, yes. the Facebook. The TV shows. Oh. The TV shows. There was very few yeah. public access shows yeah. back then. Star Search was out when I was, uh, it was uh, Ed McMahon and, uh, yeah. and Sinbad. Well, you remember... Uncle Floyd. Yeah, he was the only guy. Yes, yes, yes. You yeah, know, yeah. and he, he was. I was. I always looked up to him when I was a kid. This yeah. guy has a great show. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, we didn't have that. I, I, I was too poor to fly it to, to <laughs> California. Now, listen. Before we go, uh, there's a lot of hype about your your, your up close personal tour. Yes. Tell us about that, please. Yes. Yeah. What I'm doing is um, we're, we're doing intimate venues um, of about like two to three hundred people, and uh, it's a it's a romantic night to take mm -hmm. the uh, uh, your significant other. And we're doing acoustic sets of songs that weren't released that were on my album. A lot of people think George Lamont, oh, you know, dance. Yeah. There was a lot of beautiful ballads on Good. it that a lot of people don't know about. 
and even Spanish ballads. Um, so I'm just doing stripped down um, um, versions of the show with the you know two lead guitars, rhythm, lead, uh, some minor percussion, and just me and me and, and and my fans. And I get to hang out with them, and I'm right there close. And uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful setting and. Everybody gets to eat and have That's some great. wine and just sit back and relax. No more waiting at the line and club till <laughs> nah. two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right? we can't do that anymore. We can't do that. Anymore. That's when the bars are open at yeah, five yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, George, when the tour is all done, I would love you to come back with the guys. But I definitely like to come down with my girl and, and see Please. you guys play one night. Please, I will come, definitely come down with you guys. I would like you. Anybody here too? You guys give me some information. You guys are in the want to come down to the shows? I'll just I'll help you. Out. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, where can people find you on the internet, special Facebook? or You can go to Facebook, George Lamont, uh, Facebook, or George Lamont 1 on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I'll be touring. Uh, I'm doing Mohegan Sun. Um, Carl has the dates. I don't know if you guys can post them up, but I'm doing yeah. Mohegan Sun coming up. I'm also doing the Brookhaven Amphitheater out in Long Island, September 21st. And the rest is out of state. All right, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, listen, all the best of luck, no, Joyce. Thank, thank you, you for so me. much. Thank you for having me. Everybody, Joyce Lamont.